We're used to seeing Earth like this. A globe of blue and green, clouds swirling like brushstrokes, hanging against a black canvas. But always from the same angle, the same perspective. From orbit, from the space station, from satellites just a few hundred kilometers away. But what if I told you that's not the whole picture? Today, I'm taking you on a journey to see Earth from where few ever imagine, through the lens of distant spacecraft millions of kilometers away, from the surface of Mars, from the rings of Saturn, even from the edge of the solar system itself. Why does it matter? Because seeing Earth from these impossible distances puts our world into perspective. No borders, no wars, no voices of division. Just one beautiful planet that we all call home. This is Earth, as very few of us have ever seen it before. You're watching V101 Space. My name's Rob, and if you enjoy diving into the wonders of space, don't forget to subscribe for much more to come. In December 1968, three astronauts orbited the moon for the first time in history. As they came around the far side, one of them, Bill Anders, looked out of the window and saw Earth rising above the lunar horizon. 384,000 kilometers away, Earth hovered like a delicate ornament. Blue oceans, white clouds, no borders. It was the first time humanity truly saw itself from beyond Earth. Anders snapped a photo that would become iconic, Earthrise. This image helped launch the modern environmental movement, highlighting our planet's fragility and sparking widespread awareness about its vulnerability, leading to the creation of Earth Day. When you see our home from this far away, it makes you realize it's not just a planet, it's our lifeboat, and we are all on it, floating through a dark ocean. In 2017, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft was on a mission to collect samples from an asteroid called Bennu. As it left Earth behind, at around 1.3 million kilometers away, it turned around to take one last look. The image it captured shows Earth as a small sphere, but floating beside, you can see the tiny gray dot of our moon highlighting just how far away the Apollo 8 astronauts were when Bill Anders snapped the Earthrise photo. In fact, within that gap, you could fit all of the other planets in the solar system. This perspective is staggering. Earth is no longer a dominating force in the frame. It's a small marble, a memory. And yet, that tiny orb contains every poem, every war, every human, every sunrise, everything we've ever known. Now let's travel even further to Mars, our neighbor, 228 million kilometers away. Several missions have looked back at Earth from Mars's orbit, including ESA's Mars Express. In May 2023, it turned its cameras back toward home, and captured something we rarely get to see, Earth and the Moon together in motion. This wasn't just a still image, it was a short sequence, four frames stitched into a beautiful animation. Earth and the Moon dancing across the blackness, tiny, fragile, perfectly in sync. From this perspective, you don't just see the Earth, you feel how far away it really is, but also how small we really are. That white dot houses every single one of us. From the surface, the view is even more surreal. In one image taken by Curiosity in September 2024, Earth is just a pale blue dot, a star in the night sky. 
But from this perspective, to the left of it, a dark shape is rising. That's Phobos, one of Mars's two moons caught mid-ascent. The photo has been nicknamed Earth Setting Phobos Rising. It's a title that feels less like a science mission and more like poetry, because that's what it is, a Martian sunset where Earth plays the part of the star. From here, Earth isn't just a place, it's an alien world, and we are the aliens. Now we travel to the realm of the giants. From Saturn, Earth is beyond tiny, in 2013, NASA's Cassini spacecraft was orbiting Saturn at around 1.44 billion kilometers from Earth when it captured a series of photographs unlike any other. This image, named The Day the Earth Smiled, shows Saturn's massive rings in the foreground and in the corner, a speck of blue light floating in the dark. That speck, all of us. And at the time, NASA asked the world in advance, look up and smile. In this image is a planet where millions of people were aware, smiling for a picture taken from the outer solar system. And finally, one of the farthest views of Earth ever taken, and perhaps the most profound. In February 1990, Voyager 1 had travelled around 6 billion kilometres. It was long past Neptune and was leaving the solar system behind. Engineers turned the spacecraft around just once to take a family portrait of the planets. And there, caught in a single sunbeam, was Earth, just 0.12 pixels wide. That photograph famously became known as the pale blue dot. Carl Sagan wrote, That's here, that's home, that's us. Every king and queen, every child, every dream, reduced to a single point of light. It's not a photograph, it's a mirror. It shows us how small we are and how rare. Across every image, one truth emerges. The farther we go, the smaller we seem. But don't mistake smallness for insignificance. Because out of four billion years of Earth's history, we, you, me, humanity, are the first to step outside of the cradle and turn back to see it. In a universe vast beyond comprehension, we are the only known species that looks up and asks, where are we? And perhaps more importantly, what does it mean to be here at all. Maybe we are the universe attempting to understand itself, a fragile species on a fragile world daring to ask impossible questions and dreaming of the answers written in starlight. So the next time you look up, remember, we are small, but we are also, as it stands, very rare, it seems. And that certainly makes each and every one of us irreplaceable. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then remember to like and subscribe for much more to come. And if you would like to support my channel even further then why not buy me a coffee? A small donation goes a long way and helps me improve what I am attempting to build. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.